All right, let's try putting a song together. We're going to do it using Apple Loops. Apple Loops are made up of either audio or MIDI, and they automatically adjust to fit the tempo and key of your project. They're perfect for exploring new song ideas and adding an extra element to existing songs. Logic Studio ships with a huge collection of Apple Loops for many styles of music. Apple Loops are organized in the Loop Browser, which you can open by clicking the media icon in the toolbar and clicking the Loops tab. The Loop Browser has three different modes that you can choose by clicking the buttons in its upper right corner. Column View, Button View, and Sound Effects View. Let's start with Column View. In this mode, the Loop Browser works a lot like a Finder window. Start by choosing a category in the first column. You can browse by genre, instrument, or mood. Then, use the second and third columns to narrow things down even more. For example, you could choose instruments from the first column, acoustic guitar from the second column, and clean from the third column. All the clean acoustic guitar loops will appear in the list at the bottom of the browser. We'll come back to this list in a moment, but let's take a quick look at the other two modes. Switch to button view. This mode provides buttons for a bunch of genres, instruments, and moods. When you click a button, all the matching loops appear in the list. You can click other buttons to narrow down the list. You can only choose one genre and instrument at a time. When you select a mood button, other mood buttons that don't match with the ones you've already chosen will be grayed out. For instance, if I select clean, distorted is grayed out. An instrument can't be both clean and distorted. It doesn't make sense. If you want to start over, click the reset button. Switch to sound effects view. This mode is basically the same as button view, but it searches for sound effects and jingles instead of music loops from a single instrument. All three modes have a few common features. The view menu lets you browse all your loops or only those from a certain collection. The signature menu lets you choose a time signature. Choose any to browse all your loops regardless of the time signature they use. The Scale menu lets you choose whether the loop should work in major keys, minor keys, or both. Choose Neither to only find loops that don't have a key, like drum loops. Choose Any to browse all your loops regardless of key. We can use the Search field to find loops by name. For example, type Strum and press Enter to quickly find all the strum loops in your collection. The list is divided into columns for name, tempo, key, beats, and match. The name, tempo, and key columns should be pretty self-explanatory. The beats column shows the length of each loop and beats. The match column shows how closely each loop matches your song. You can sort the list based on any column by clicking its heading. Click the heading a second time to sort the list in the reverse order. For example, click match to view the loops in order from the worst matches to the best, then click it again to reverse the order so the best matches are displayed first. Drag the lines that divide the column headings left to right to make each column narrower or wider so you can see the full name of each loop. You can also rearrange the columns by clicking and dragging them. There's also this Favorites checkbox, which allows us to identify loops that we really like or think we're going to use often. We can easily see all of our favorites by clicking on the Favorites button up here. 